one that strangled her almighty. Feels so good to be back in your old bed and not in old creepy Laurelton, doesn't it? Well, I'm glad you realize how lucky you are. Aren't you still upset with me? I'm not upset, Felicia. I'm just sort of... I'm puzzled. What the hell were you thinking about? Why would you go to Laurelton? You could have been shot in Jennifer's house. Do you realize that? I didn't think about that. Well, what were you thinking about? Oh, Frisco. I just want to be a part of you. I just miss all that fun and excitement that we've had. And I just want to let you know that I can be just as good in the field as some other people we know. So you were competing with me? Well, no, of course not. Well, then what? Don't be so thick-headed about all of this. Sam? You're still hung up on Sam? No, but you are. You seem to think she's such a big, big asset. But I'm the one who helped you in Laurelton, and don't you forget it. to be a submissive sidekick, Frisco, and I mean Samantha. Now, I, on the other hand, took the initiative by going to Laurelton. You used bad judgment, Felicia. Bad judgment? Yes. No, look, I'm the one that found that tin box. I was the one that spotted the tin box that had Jennifer's chain in it. You ought to be glad that I went to Jennifer's house. You really should. Blind luck. Blind luck? You should be so lucky with Sam, and I haven't even had the benefit of her training. I like you right where you are, honey. Here in Port Charles, I like to share my apartment with you and my bed with you and my life with you. I want you to be safe, okay? Oh, sure. I bet you can't wait to get up every morning just so that you can be with Sam. The truth is, I can't wait to get home at night so I can be with you because I love you. Can't you understand that? Lock the door and throw away the key. That's just your perfect way of keeping me from ruining the famous Frisco and Sam show. You really don't understand, do you? I mean, not at all. I love you, okay? I want to marry you. You are the woman in my life, not Sam. Sam's going to be a cop. That's her work, not yours. Now, just keep that straight and stay out of a man's business, all right? Man's business? Oh, you know what I mean. Look, I got to get to Anna's. I'm supposed to be over in her office by now. Look, the next time you have a message for me to deliver to Sam, you do it yourself. She thinks you're going to flunk out of the police academy. Don't you have to go to work, too, honey? Yes, I do, but I'm not going to see Sean until later, and I have to check with Jake on some legal things. So you go ahead, and you don't worry about me. Okay. Maybe I'll stop worrying about you. Yes? Hi. Oh, I'm sweet. Oh, what a day. You were absolutely brilliant. Yeah. You know, that they should put that trick in a training manual. Well, we've got to see that it works first. Well, it's a cinch to work. I want you and Sam to play the major roles. Really? What do you need? Sit down. Now, <clears throat> you and Sam have got to be stationed in the property room. Now, if the murderer does what we anticipate, I want you to take pictures, okay? Now, you've got to be very careful that you're not seen, because whoever the murderer is, he's going to stop at nothing. Where are you going to be tomorrow? I'm going to be nearby, don't worry, even though it is trainee's day. Yeah, sort of like the inmates taking over the asylum. Exactly. But you and Sam are going to be brilliant. Yeah. Sam, that reminds me, I gotta call Felicia. She always gets upset if I'm late. Go ahead. I'm gonna freshen up anyway. Oh. Hello? Hi, baby. How's it going? Oh, hi. Are you still down at police headquarters? No, I'm in Anna's getting a briefing. Oh, that sounds exciting. Well. Yeah, it'll, it'll be exciting tomorrow, maybe, but I don't want to talk about that right now. How's dinner? Frisco, you don't have to be afraid to talk about work. I know I've been really hard on you, but I, it's just that I miss all the action. I know you do. That's why I don't want to talk about it and rub it into you. You're not. You don't think it's going to make you crazy if you're not involved in what's going on, huh? 
I don't want you in any sort of danger. Now, we talked about that. I love you too much. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that, but it just... I just don't like the thought of you and Sam. Well, I mean, no, I take that back. It, it's just that I get angry just a little every now and then, you know. Uh, I know. I can accept that. Really? Well, you're being honest. And that's all that I ask, is that you're honest. Then we don't have a problem? Let's just say we'll, um, we'll pursue it further when I get home in greater depth from a different vantage point. A different vantage point? Uh -huh. Like in bed. Oh. I love you. I love you. Oh, you know, that reminds me, I... Frisco, the necklace is gone. Don't Any sign of a break-in? No, none at all. It's... I can't believe it. I mean, there's no sign upstairs, right? So I don't understand how this... You could think could have been taken. Well, whoever it was worked pretty damn fast because Philomena left headquarters right before we did. Now, the front door was... Oh, hello. Hi. We just take a little run to the market. Hey. Hi. <laughs> you little devil, you. Oh, Robin. Just like the way I look, everybody at the market said I look just like the mommy. <laughs> yeah. You look just like a mommy. 